My name is Michael Jernigan. I'm a corporal that was medically retired in the United States Marine Corps in 2005. My name is Kimberly Jernigan, wife and caregiver to Michael Jernigan. Gary Batten, Chief of the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma. Oliver North, United States Marine Corps, Lieutenant Colonel, retired. My name is Al Cherry. I was a lieutenant in the United States Navy. My name is Adam Hawkins, Sergeant, United States Army. I understand that there's a need for security in our airports. I mean, these guys who've been in the hospital for months and sometimes years at a time are physically debilitated by the experience. And so it's a, it's a challenge. And there was a pressure plate that was on the road and uh, my driver saw it at the very last second and turned the wheel. In this war, most of the casualties have been created not by artillery fire or small arms fire. Uh, it's been by IEDs, these improvised explosive devices. I was in the machine gun turret of a Humvee we got hit by two 155 millimeter artillery shells. Command order to fly primarily post 9 11 wounded veterans to whatever event they need to fly to. A lot of them have trouble riding on the airlines. When you're standing there in front of everybody and their mother in your dress blues with your ribbons and your medals, that you got for not only fighting terrorism, but being wounded because of terrorists, and you're being patted down and searched like a common criminal. Getting dropped off at the airport and making your way through you know, a cluster gaggle at the airport, it's not because of hostility, it's just, it's hard on them. You know, make you take your hair down, pat your breasts down, undo your dress, check your husband, check his, his white cane that the VA gives him emotional issues, PTSD, we make that whole process a whole lot easier. And we talk about, again, our vision to live out the top the spirit of faith, family, and culture. What better way to show our love, our grace for our fellow human being? We weren't sure if Veteran Airlift Command would be something we would be able to use. It was a shot in the dark. For Veterans Airlift Command to even be in existence, I think, is, is, is an amazing thing.